This video will help guide you through the use of the Aluminum Association's Aluminum Standards and Data Publication to determine if your extruded tube and hollow extruded profile meets standard industry dimensional tolerances. Tolerances for round, square, and rectangular extruded tubing are found in tables 12.2 through 12.4, while hollow extruded profiles are in table 11.2. We'll start with a simple round 6063 extruded tube. Two different tolerances apply to round tube diameter. The first tolerance applies to the mean, or the average of the highest and lowest measured diameters. The second applies to tolerances for diameter at any point around the tube. This extruded tube has a diameter of two inches. Using table 12.2, we'll go to the row in column one for two to 3.999 inches and across to the right side of column two, since this tube is a 6000 series alloy, and find the mean diameter tolerance is plus or minus 0.015 inches from the specified diameter. Measuring the tube, we find the diameter ranges from 1.995 inches to 2.004 inches, so the mean wall is 1.9995 inches. This is within the allowable plus or minus 0.015 tolerance for a two inch tube. The tolerance for the diameter at any point found on the right side of column 3 is plus or minus 0.030 inches. So the actual measurements of 1.995 inches to 2.004 inches are also within tolerance. Now we'll move on to wall thickness. Two different tolerances also apply to the wall thickness, a mean wall tolerance and wall eccentricity tolerance. This tube has a 0.109 inches specified wall thickness. To find the mean wall tolerance, we'll use table 12.4 and find the corresponding row in column one. Then we'll move over to the right side of column three, which has the correct diameter range for this tube and applies to a 6000 series alloy. The mean wall tolerance from specified wall is plus or minus 0.009 inches. The eccentricity is plus or minus 10% as stated in column six. The actual wall thickness measures 0.108 inches to 0.112 inches, and the mean is 0.110 inches, which is within the allowable tolerance of plus or minus 0.009 inches for a specified wall thickness of 0.109 inches. To determine if the wall is within the eccentricity tolerance, you will need to take 10% of the 0.110 inches mean wall, which is 0.011 inches. The tolerance range will be plus or minus 0.011. The actual wall measurements are found to be within this range. Next, we'll look at a rectangular tube, which will use different tables than round tubes. We'll use table 12.3 to determine the depth and width tolerances for this 3 inch by 8 inch by 0.25 inch rectangular tube in 6061 T6 alloy temper. We will start by finding the tolerances to be used at the corners. In table 12.3, we'll use column 1 to find the correct range for the 3 inch depth and go to the right side of column 2 for other alloys and find the tolerance to be 3.000 inches plus or minus 0.025 inches. Then we'll do the same thing a second time for the 8 inch width, find the correct range in column 1, then move to find the tolerances on the right side of column 2, which is 8.000 inches plus or minus 0.075 inches. Now we also need to find the tolerances for the width and depth slightly away from the corners towards the middle to account for any deviation away from the corners. To find these tolerances, we will refer to the note column four. To break down this statement, we will start by using column three to find the tolerances for the three inch depth and eight inch width. The three inch tolerance is plus or minus 0.035 inches and the eight inch tolerance is plus or minus 0.085. Next, we are going to put these values into a chart to show how the tolerances for width and depth need to be reversed. We need to reverse these two tolerances because the three inch dimension applies to a larger eight inch width, so a larger tolerance is needed. 
The plus or minus 0.085 inches away from corner tolerance for the 8 inch width dimension will now apply to the 3 inch depth dimension. For the 8 inch width dimension, the away from corner tolerance becomes plus or minus 0.035 inches. However, this is smaller than the plus or minus 0.075 inches tolerance at the corners, so the same plus or minus 0.075 inches tolerance will apply. The tolerance away from the corner needs to be equal to or greater than the dimension tolerance at the corners. The final tolerances you will need are 3 inches plus or minus 0.085 and 8 inches plus or minus 0.075. Now you can measure the extrusion with a micrometer to make sure that it fits within these tolerances. For our third example, let's look at extruded hollow profiles, such as these. These tolerances can be found in Table 11.2. This table is divided into two groups of tolerances based on the circumscribing circle size of the profile. Those with a circle size less than 10 inches and those with 10 inches or more. As the size of profile increases, the tolerances also increase. This table is further divided into two main categories, tolerances for metal dimensions and tolerances for space dimensions. The tolerance values in this table are also shown as plus and minus tolerances. Metal dimensions are just as the name suggests, a dimension that applies to solid metal. The applicable tolerances are found in columns 2 and 3. Column 3 is specifically for metal dimensions that surround an enclosed void. For a hollow profile with an enclosed void, the wall thickness tolerances are found on column 3. Space dimensions are used for hollow profiles and apply across an enclosed void. Tolerances for space dimensions are found in columns 4 through 9. The column you need is based on where along the profile you are measuring. Footnote 8 for Table 11.2 also contains important information on how to determine the width and depth space dimension tolerances. We'll use this part as an example to show you how to measure and determine the applicable tolerances for metal and space dimensions of a hollow extruded profile using Table 11.2. The overall profile size is less than 10 inches circle size, so we'll look at the top half of the table. To determine the metal dimension wall thickness tolerance, you will need to use column 3, since the void for this example is larger than 0.11 square inches. You will also use the standard tolerances side of the column unless precision tolerance is requested by the purchaser. The tolerance is plus or minus 10% of the specified wall dimension. For a half inch wall thickness specified dimension, the tolerance would be plus or minus 0.050 inches. Measuring the wall, we find the actual thickness is 0.494 inches, which is within the allowable tolerance. For the 2.5 inch depth and 4 inch width dimensions of this hollow profile, there is a metal dimension tolerance found in column 2 and also a space dimension tolerance across the void found in column 4. To help illustrate what tolerance will apply, we'll construct a table to show the 2.5 inch and 4 inch width metal and space dimension tolerances and how footnote 8 applies for space dimensions. Using column 2, the 2.5 inch depth dimension for the hollow profile has a metal dimension tolerance of plus or minus 0.024 inches and the 4 inch width dimension has a metal dimension tolerance of plus or minus 0.034 inches. Using column 4, the 2.5 inch depth dimension for the hollow profile has a space dimension tolerance of plus or minus 0.034 inches and the 4 inch width dimension has a space dimension tolerance of plus or minus 0.044 inches. The depth and width space dimension tolerances will need to be reversed or flipped because the space dimension tolerance for the 2.5 inch specified dimension applies over a larger 4 inch width compared to the tolerance for the 4 inch specified dimension which applies over the smaller 2.5 inch depth. This is similar to the previous example we covered with the rectangular tube. 
After reversing or flipping the tolerances, the 2.5 inch specified dimension will have a space dimension tolerance across the void of plus or minus 0.044 inches and the 4 inch dimension will have a space dimension tolerance of plus or minus 0.034 inches. In all cases, a space dimension tolerance needs to be equal to or greater than the metal dimension tolerance. Measuring this part across the 4 inch dimension, the width is found to be 3.990 inches at the corner or metal dimension and 3.998 inches towards the middle and including the void, which is within the plus or minus 0.034 inches allowable tolerance. Measuring across the 2.5 inch dimension, the depth is found to be 2.496 inches at the corner or metal dimension and 2.49 inches across the void or space dimension. Both measurements are within allowable tolerance of plus or minus 0.024 inches metal dimension tolerance and plus or minus 0.044 inches space dimension tolerance. You may find more variation can occur in actual width or depth space dimensions as the wall thickness decreases and as the void size increases. There are important footnotes for each table that may or may not apply to your extrusion, depending on the geometry of the profile or certain alloy temper conditions. Get your copy of Aluminum Standards and Data, which contains the tables covered in this video, from the Aluminum Association's bookstore. It is available in US or metric units. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and engage us on social media. Thanks for watching.